Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about investing in Sword and Shield booster boxes, brilliant stars in particular. Now, before we get into the video, I am running a giveaway for three packs of Pokemon 151 for one lucky subscriber. Make sure that for you to enter into the giveaway, you must slap that like button, fly kick the notification bell and headbutt the subscribe button and leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on what your favorite set in Sword and Shield is to be investing in right now. Also, previously, previous giveaway winners have been announced in descriptions on my previous videos. If you haven't yet contacted me, contact me on this email address on the screen here to get in touch with me to claim your prize, okay? Because I'll have one or two unclaimed prizes that I need to give away. Moving on into the video. Guys, I said it before and I'm going to say it again. Sword and Shield, now is the very last time you're going to be able to get in for Sword and Shield at a reasonable price. I could be wrong, but I highly doubt it. Look, now in the UK, you are only allowed to buy one booster box of Brilliant Stars from the official Pokemon Center website. I have checked on the US version of the website and you can buy up to six. So the purchase limit is six. So American people, Canadians, you probably have a better opportunity to get in right now and buy at MSRP. When the booster boxes were at 120, 125, 130 on eBay, nobody wanted it. Now they're starting to run out on the Pokemon Center and we're starting to see a run up on prices for booster boxes on eBay as well more so in the UK than in the US, but I'll try and put up some screenshots of prices for booster boxes for Brilliant Stars in the US and in the UK via the respective eBay listings. Now guys, this is the potentially last opportunity for you to get in while you can still buy Brilliant Stars on the Pokemon Center at MSRP. Now once the supply starts to dwindle, and I think it is because in the UK, they're only allowing one box per purchase. In the US, it's six, so you could buy a caseload. In the UK, if you want a caseload, <laughs> you best be doing six separate orders. Now, what does this tell you? Normally, what's very typical in Pokemon is, is that the booster boxes will start to come to a close in the sense that booster boxes will become less and less available via Pokemon Center. And then that has a knock-on effect on the gray market or the secondary market, people selling on eBay, TCG player, etc, etc, etc. Now, the other thing is also FOMO sets in. So when people know that they can no longer buy the, the official product from the official Pokemon website, they start to look online and that's when prices start to get bumped up. I'll give you a very simple example. I was talking about Lost Origin a, a few months ago and how that was a good opportunity and a good time to get in, even if it was at MSRP. You, in fact, boxes were going for less. Booster boxes for Lost Origin are now way above MSRP, so there or thereabouts. The product is not available anymore. In the UK, you can't find it uh, through official distribution. I have distributors here. You can't get it through distribution. Well, you potentially could, but they won't offer it to everybody. And also through the traditional uh, Pokemon Center channels um, or large websites or big box retailers, it's just not available now. When you go to eBay, I had Lost Origin booster boxes listed for 125 a few months ago i then took it up to 145 a few months ago then i eventually started to look at what's on available on the market on ebay in the uk and people were selling it for no less than 160 to 175 pounds per box so what did i do i upped it to 175 then i started to start People started to see the FOMO setting in and I started getting offers at 145, 150, 155, 160. I'm going to put some screenshots up, up of sort of the offers I've had. I've had a few cheeky offers at about 125 as well. But guys, if you're in the US, take advantage at $144 to be able to pick up the Brilliant Stars booster box. Do that now. Like I said, with Lost Origin, now I'm starting to get offers. I've upped, I've upped the price to 225 because I don't really want to let go of my Lost Origin booster boxes. But if somebody was to buy it at that price, I'll let, let it go for that price. However, FOMO setting in now for how many months I had those boxes up for 120, 130, 140, nobody was interested. Now that the prices are starting to go up, everybody wants to jump in. And it's actually the worst time to start getting in because prices are already on the arise. This is why I say, guys, if you're going to buy something, buy it MSRP or below. Brilliant Stars is amazing because it is still available at MSRP. I think people are going to look back and 
really kicked themselves for not picking up the booster boxes whilst they were still available via the Pokemon Center. Anyway, guys, that's my two cents on Brilliant Stars. I think that it is a great set. There's a lot of alt arts in there. There is... Sorry, guys. So my phone cut out because somebody was calling me. Anyway, as I was saying, I think Brilliant Stars is an amazing set. The artworks are amazing. With the Charizard, the Umbreon, the Arceus, the, the Legendary Birds. There's so many amazing cards within the set. Then you've got the Charizard Rainbow Rare. Rainbow Rares, I'm telling you guys, people are going to look back at them favorably and you're going to regret not picking these cards up. Now, I could be wrong about Brilliant Stars and it could be that Pokemon do reprint Brilliant Stars. However, even if you're still buying at MSRP, in the long term, you're not going to do bad. Remember, Brilliant Stars came out in Feb 2022. We're now March 2024. We're two years into that cycle. And, you know, we're looking at roughly like a three-year period when you start to see boxes go parabolic. This generally tends to happen in Pokemon between the two to three-year period. Potentially not parabolic, but you start to see the the, the value of the, the product starting to go up exponentially. So now is a great time. Do not miss out on being able to purchase Brilliant Stars. Also look at other sets within the Sword and Shield block. I think Fusion Strikes a great, great shot. And my hot take is Astral Radiance. I think Astral Radiance is so slept on, guys. Right now is the time to move in on Astral Radiance. If you can pick up Astral Radiance between 100 and 110 pounds, 100 and 110 dollars a box, freely on the market, go ahead and buy yourself one, two, six, pick up a case, pick up multiple cases if you can afford it. Obviously, do not start taking credit cards and loans to buy these things for investment. Invest what you can afford to invest and afford to lose, more importantly. Astral Radiance is my hot take as well. But Brilliant Stars is now. We're on the cusp of potentially running out of stock on Pokemon Center and then the market going and leaving us all behind. So get in now, guys. Buy, buy Brilliant Stars if you can at msrp okay guys if you do like this kind of content please do subscribe down below 90 percent of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed please do subscribe and as i said slap the like button headbutt the bells notification and fly kick that subscribe i'll catch you on the next one guys please leave your comments down below so you can win in the giveaway Bye bye